Steining 72 here. We're going to do a little walkthrough, a little update of the garden, and some of the weed pulling that we did here. And the patio area is now all flowerful and weedless. Looks a lot better than the last time. First thing we're going to look at is the amazing potato towers. These things have just gone crazy. Growing from all the sides and through the top. Beans are really starting to take off here. Starting to get some runners up on the top of them. It looks like we actually have some growing up on the trellis. I'll let you know how that works. This is a kind of an experiment this year, so. Got some uh, tomatoes growing here. It's been a little dry. Been trying to keep this watered. Ran out of rain water, so we're back to city water now. So, hoping that we get all that rain we're supposed to get next week. Weather forecast is rain all week, so that would be really, really great. Here we have some broccoli. It's doing fair. Could be doing better. Got some red onions right there. Here we have some purple cabbage. Red cabbage. There's some peppers that just started growing all by themselves. No idea what kind they are. They just kind of showed up there, we're letting them grow. Cabbage patch. Some cauliflower. And that is the tomato gone crazy. Just kind of started growing there and we let it go. There's some yellow onions here. We got watermelon and zucchini. I believe these are moon and star watermelons. Uh, they weren't planted here, but in order for this to have watermelons and it has to be moon and star so we'll see what happens when we harvest them all right now we have some cucumbers cucumbers doing really well strawberries had a couple strawberries here and there, but between the birds and the youngest who loves to pick everything. <laughs> and the peppers. I think I'm going to try and put some Epsom salts on here. Um, peppers are supposed to do pretty well with uh, lots of magnesium, so We'll get some Epsom salts on there and do a little bit of treatment. See if that helps these poor little things out. We did put some uh, azomite on the garden. I don't know if anybody of you has ever heard of that before, but uh, John Kohler from GrowingYourGreens.com is a pretty big advocate for azomite, and I can see why because everything turned green instantly the next day so it really really did a 
a good job on it. So here we have a uh, volunteer pumpkin and sunflower. Just planted it here. Uh, started growing in a pot is what happened. So and we've got uh, sangria watermelons. Never had one before, but we will try them and see how they work. And there we have some cantaloupe. And there are broccoli peas, giant pumpkins. Hopefully we get a good harvest from those. Down here, not sure if you'll all be able to see them or not, but that's the garlic growing in there. Some of it didn't really germinate. With all this weird weather we had from going from winter to summer to winter to summer, no spring in between, it really did a number on everything. So, And there we have some celery, some radishes, Some more cucumbers that are not doing so well because of this stinking no rain we're having. And there is Ab McGee's little beans that she planted. This is the potato patch. We're going to compare we have the same amount of potatoes in here as we put into the potato towers. So we're going to compare the yield between this and the potato towers and see which one comes out better. More compost. Put a little bit of azomite in there uh, just to help the compost what was left over so now there is our very very dwindling supply of lettuce that since we had no spring weather just really is not doing very well we'll be having that for supper tonight though these are all volunteer tomatoes from the compost I would assume that they're Tennessee tomatoes because that's what we used last year so we'll have wait and see hopefully there's a pretty good crop so and then last but not least we have the blackberries and raspberries well we have blueberry right there pink lemonade blueberry interesting And the raspberries. And like I said, everything's pretty hit or miss this year because all the lack of rain and there's some good looking raspberries though. Those came from the Amish country. Get a lot of good deals there. Hey everybody, this is Stiney72. That's an update of the garden. And We'll see you next time. Just remember, we're prepping to live.